Greetings from Boston. I hope you all are well. We have news from Rome. Rafael Nadal is back on the red dirt and playing ferociously. Taking no prisoners, Nadal swept his opponent, Demir Jumher, off the court today, 6-1-6-0. There's a killer on the loose in Rome, and just who will stop him? Who can stop him? Well, there are a few contenders, a few assassins to be sure, only really one torchbearer left. We hope the torchbearer can do the job. Let's look at the prospects. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. This is Tennis Talk Daily. Rome has not treated the one-handers very kindly at all. Dominique Team was ousted today by Fabio Foynini in three sets. Foynini was playing on his home soil and clearly had the crowd, but Team played fairly well. Grigor Dimitrov was ejected by K. Nishikori. Feliciano Lopez also outdone by Nishikori in an earlier match. Stan Wawrinka can't get past the American Steve Johnson in his opening round match. Richard Gasquet falls to countryman Benoit Peyre in their opening round. Pablo Cuevas gone. Leonardo Meyer out. Dusan Lajovic farewell. And finally, our warrior Stefanos Tsitsipas is sent packing by Juan Martin Del Potro in straight sets today. Well, Tsitsipas will have to... Take that as some experience. Learn his lessons. Del Potro is a tough customer. You kind of have to learn how to play him. So hopefully Tsitsipas will put this experience in his back pocket and next time come out and slay Juan Martin. But who is left that might stop Nadal, the killer on the loose? Well, there's really only one torchbearer left in the tournament. His name is Denis Shapovalov, and it looks like he will be facing Ryan. Rafael Nadal tomorrow in the round of 16. If Shapovalov can finish this job he's doing on Robin Hase, Shapo has already taken the first set. So if Shapo gets through, it's going to be a showdown between Nadal and the young Canadian, the rising star who beat Nadal last year, you will recall, in Montreal on the hard courts. But can he do it on Nadal's favorite surface? Comment below. Let me know what you think. What does Shapo have to do to stop Rafa? What tools does he have at his disposal that he can use and employ to stop Rafa? Well, I think he has to attack. He has to attack Nadal's second serve, but his first serve as well. He has to inject some variety in his game use the one-hander for all it's worth, slice some balls into Nadal, put side spin on the balls, just vary it up. Drop shots, of course, can catch Nadal off guard. We'll just have to see what happens. But depending on how Nadal is feeling, and he seems to be feeling fairly well, I do think Chapo can give Nadal a run for his money and might be able to stop him, might be able to stop Rafa and continue the revolution. So comment below. Let me know what you think about this matchup. Again, it looks like Chapo will get through, but that match with Hase is not over yet. So if Nadal can get through Chapo or Hase, who else will he have to deal with? Well... In the next round, the quarterfinals, he'll have to deal with, most likely, Fabio Foynini, who just beat the Prince of Clay, Dominique Team, today. Foynini, as it happens, has beaten Rafael Nadal on clay twice in 2015. Maybe Nadal wasn't doing so well in those matches, I'm not sure, but he has beaten Nadal on clay. So... He's a man with a proven track record, and Nadal might have a tough customer on his hands in Foynini when the quarterfinals come around. Well, then there's going to be a semifinal if Nadal can get through what I'm predicting to be Foynini. And in that semifinal, Nadal could see possibly Nishikori. 
or possibly Djokovic. Now, Djokovic, I don't want to express too much hope in Djokovic, but he looks to be in fairly good form so far. I will never say he's dependable until he proves it to me, but Djokovic can be an assassin here. He also is an individual who has beaten Rafa on clay. So there's two people in Rafa's upper half of the draw who have a proven track record of beating Nadal on clay. So the prospects are good there if Djokovic can continue to perform. And even if Djokovic doesn't, if it's Nishikori that gets through, well, Nishikori can can do something here as well, possibly. In the bottom half of the draw, in terms of people that Rafa will have to deal with in the final if he gets through, we've got Zverev, who's coming out of Madrid and out of uh, Munich with the wins and feeling good, looking strong and consistent. And Zverev is really my top pick to take down Nadal in Rome and defend his title, right? There is also Chilich down there who seems to be doing okay. There's Delpo as well who's going to be facing off with David Goffin in the next round. So Zverev might have to deal with either Delpo or Goffin. Then he'll have to go on and probably deal with Chilich in the semifinal. And if he can do all that, he might meet Rafael Nadal in the final at Rome. While it doesn't include a lot of one-handers, I think this draw can pose some problems for Nadal. Shapo, Foynini, Nishikori, Djokovic, Cilic, Zverev, Delpo, possibly Gofan. There's plenty of competition left. Let's see what happens. Comment below. Subscribe for Essential Commentary. Give the video a thumbs up. Signing off from Boston. Bye-bye.